I'm sure if they were... Oh, there they are. There you go. Ah, yeah. Sometimes things get lost. And unfortunately, that happens in Canva too. There's so many things. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to search for and find anything you need in Canva. All right, guys, we are going to start by searching using the search bar from the Canva homepage. So on top of the homepage, in this header section, you should see a big prominent search bar. So if we start searching here, for example, if we search for the word Facebook, okay, I just typed in Facebook, it didn't do anything else. And this is what I see. All right, so the first thing I want to explain to you is that you can either search for different templates containing the keyword you entered here. So here, Facebook. So that would be by default the first tab, at least for now. Or you could search and switch to the second tab here that says projects. And when you do that, you will be searching for the designs you have created that contain the keyword Facebook. And when I mean Facebook, it could be Facebook in the title of the document like here, for example, if my cat was on Facebook, or it could be simply a keyword that is inside one of your Canva designs. Canva also can search the text inside your design. So that's the first thing that is important to know is that you can search for templates Okay, so for example, Valentine's Day Facebook post, Christmas Facebook post, etc, etc. Or you can search your own designs. Now, if we come back to the templates, you can search for different things. The first thing is that you can search for template categories. For example, like we said, Valentine's, Christmas, etc. So let's try Valentine's Facebook post. So this should bring us to the templates library. You see, we are in the home templates and we are searching for a specific category of templates, Valentine's Day. Okay, so from here, I can see a bunch of Valentine's Day template. And I can also use the filters. Okay, so you have a bunch of different filters here on the left side column. If you click on all filters, you can filter by category as well. So business, social media, education, etc. Or you can filter by media as well. All right, I'm not going to get too deep into this. Just wanted to show you. I'm going to come back to the homepage and my search right here. That's the first thing you see here. So that's the little magnifier without anything else. So this will help you find categories of templates. Next, we have a magnifier with a little bit of spark right here. So this is the magic design feature. So this is AI helping you generate a specific type of design based on your keyword. So here, what I am suggesting a beautiful Facebook cover image of a nighttime cityscape. So basically, you can type in a couple of keywords here and the AI will generate a template for you based on what you wrote. Okay, so let's just try one of the suggested here. Craft a Facebook cover image of a vibrant graffiti art. So if I click here, the AI is going to do its thing and I am going to be presented by a couple of designs right here that should be Facebook covers. You see, they're all Facebook cover dimensions for me to start with. So that's just another way Canva is giving us to not start from a blank page. Now, it is possible that you don't see this feature in your Canva account. That doesn't mean it is a pro feature. This is my Canva free account. So if I see it, it's not a pro feature, but it is possible that it's not yet available in your country or in your language. All right. So for now, what I know is that it works in the English language for Canva. So if you want to get access to this, maybe try switching your account to the English language. Maybe it shows up there. All right. So that was magic design. Let's come back to the homepage one last time and let's continue exploring what we have here. So we've seen we have template categories, we have the magic design suggestions. And then when you see little icons like this, like you see a Facebook ad, a Facebook app ad. So these are what we call document types. So Canva has all of these document types or formats with the perfect dimensions to create all sorts of documents. So that is what these are when you see these icons right here. Now, if we switch over to projects, the last Last thing I want to show you from here is that you can also use the filters right here. So if you click on this little icon, you should see four different categories of filters. The first one of these filters is owner. 
All right, so this is if you are working with a team, which is not my case here, I'm using my free account. But if you were working with a team, you could search for design created by other people in your team from here by using this filter, the owner. Next one is type. Okay, so here you can search for type of document. So it could be any type, it could be a design, it could be a brand template. Okay, or it could be a folder and folder here means a Canva folder where you are organizing different kinds of designs. All right, so that is the second filter type. We also have category. Okay, so category is the different document types that could be very useful. So you have all of your classic, I would say, document types in Canva. And the last one is the date. So this is very useful. You could search for design that you have created at any time, designs created today, yesterday, the last month, last three months, or the last year. So this also could be very useful. If you want to clear filters very easily, you can come back to the beginning. And if you have a filter applied, for example, or let's say I want design types, only designs, you can come back to your filters like so and clear all to clear all filters. All right, so that was very cool. But what about searching from inside the Canva editor? Canva also allows us to search in a multitude of different ways from within the Canva editor or the design area. So here, the first thing we need to decide is what are we searching for? Ask yourself this question, like what am I searching for? Are you searching for a template? Are you searching for a graphic? Are you searching for a photo? That will depend where you start your search. So by default, you will be on the design tab. The design tab is where you will find all of your templates, but also some layouts and some styles, okay? So layouts and styles will be only for Canva Pro users. So if you go back to the templates tab right here, this is where you can search for a template because this is a presentation document. Canva is showing me presentation templates. So I can search here, for example, I want a business presentation. I can just type in business presentation, then click enter. And my searches right here, my search results are going to focus on business presentations in the type of a presentation deck. All right, so that is the first tab right here that says design. The second tab is very interesting and has different layers to it. This tab called elements is where you will find your photos, your graphics, your elements, you know, your shapes, your lines, all of this. So right here, I'm going to search for something different. Let's say a rubber duck. So I start typing rubber and I see a recent search rubber duck right here. So I love that Canva shows us our recent searches. We can clear that if we want with the clear button, but I find it quite useful. So when I click on rubber duck, this is what I will get. And this is kind of like a mix of different design ingredients. So I see I have some graphics here. I have some photos, some videos and some audio clips, which is interesting. So by default, you will be on the all tab right here, right under my search box, I have these tabs that I can click on. So you have graphics, photos, videos, and here we have additional ones like shapes, audio, frames, and charts. Some will be empty, there will be no results there, but the first ones are quite interesting. So if I click on graphics, for example, I will be showed only graphical elements. So not a photo, but a graphic, an illustration in Canva. All right, so obviously it will be full of rubber ducks and you will quickly notice that some of them have a little crown, which means they are pro elements only available for pro users. So what happens if you click on one? Well, it will certainly show on your page, but it will have a Canva watermark. And if you export this design, Canva won't let you export it without paying for that specific element. Now, if you upgrade to a Canva Pro account, you will have access to all of these elements and photos photos that have a little crown on them. So that is quickly the difference between the pro elements and the free elements. So if I want a free element that I can use here with my free account, I need to find one that doesn't have a crown on it. So for example, this one right here. So if you click it, it will get on your page and it doesn't have a watermark. So that's the first thing I want to show you because I am on the graphics tab right here. What I'm looking for is a photo. I can simply switch over 
to the photo tab and here I will get different other things here. So I will have photos without a background like the first ones that I see here and I will have full frame photos with a background. For example, this golden duck here. If I continue scrolling, I will have different prompts. So for example, you're not finding your rubber duck, you can generate a rubber duck with an app in Canva. We'll see about that in a different video. Let's find a photo, a free photo like this one. See, it doesn't have a little crown with a rubber duck. All right, so I think you get the point. You can search for graphics, photos, videos. Might be hard sometimes to find specific video clip as a free user because most of them are pro, as you can see here, lots of little crowns here. You can search for other things like shapes, audio, like a rubber duck squeaking kind of sound which could be cool. But yeah, these are also pretty much only pro elements. So this is the first way really to search for ingredients, design ingredients from within the Canva editor. All right, so before we move down to the other tabs right here and that I show you how to search in these, I want to give you a tip. Let's say you like and you regularly search for photos or for graphics or for both in Canva. And you don't want to type your search and then have to use these filters right here. Well, there is a way to to pin these ingredient categories, these element categories straight into your object panel right here. The way to do that is to use the apps button. So I go to apps and then from here, you see more from Canva. I can open my photos again, going back to apps. I can have my videos again, back to apps and I can have, for example, my audio. And you see what Canva did here. It pinned these three element category right here. So now when I click on one, when I click on photo, for example, I am immediately searching for photos. If I switch over to my videos, I am immediately searching for videos. So that is just a little tip I'm giving you here if you are using these categories very often you can have them pinned right here in your object panel. But now I'm just going to close these tabs okay because I like to keep it clean here. All right let's now quickly go over the different tabs here. So the next one would be text. Text also has a search bar. So for example, you can search for a keyword like playful, type in playful, enter, and Canva will show you either a font name that contains your keyword, or if you use a broader keyword, like for example, fun, type in fun, you will have a bunch of different fonts that have been kind of categorized as fun by Canva, right? So that is how you use the text and the search in text, or you can type in in a precise font type. That will work too if you know the name. Next, brand, there's nothing to search here. Uploads, you can search for anything in your uploads, all right? So it doesn't read the images yet. So if you search for something, that something, that keyword needs to be part of your title, the, the way you have renamed anything you have uploaded here. For example, if I search for Ronnie and run that search, I find a few images of myself. If I click on the three little dots, I see Ronnie Yellow. So Ronnie in Chiang Mai. Okay, so you see my name, which is the keyword we search for, was included in the title of each of these photos. So that's why it found them. So that's also why it could be very interesting when you upload things into Canva to name them correctly. All right, and then the last thing you can search for is project. And project works just like the project tab from the homepage. So you can search search here from any of your designs, folders or assets you have uploaded into Canva. And you have a visual representation of all of your folders, your hierarchy, the things that you have organized in Canva. All right, let me show you one or two more things before I wrap up this lecture. And now we are getting into the crunchy tips, you know, like the master stuff. All right, so the first pro tip here is that you can use filters even from within the editor. So the filters are right here. If you click on it, you can search for different things that you didn't have access to from the home page. For example, you can search for a specific color. All right. So if I'm looking for a pink rubber duck, I can click on pink and this will set pink as my filter. Come back here and search again and I will find now only pink rubber ducks or rubber duck related items. So for example, 
here is one, a pink rubber duck. So that is the filter. What else can we filter for? We can filter for orientation, the so square, vertical or horizontal, which could be very useful if we are searching for photos, for example. We can search for animated or static elements, which could also be very useful if you are searching for a sticker. For example, you could filter by only the animated, all right? Animated and pink. So I still have my two filters, you see? So let's see, if we run this. Well, there is none. Maybe I get rid of the pink color. There you go. So now only animated ducks should be able to find some in my graphics. Yeah, you see, this one is an animated sticker and all of these two. But this one is kind of like the most fun of the bunch right here. All right, so that's how you use the filters. And then the last tip, which is probably the best tip of this video, is that you can use the three little dots right here. Let me clear out the filters here. So I'm gonna clear the filters, come back to my rubber duck search, find one that you like. For example, this guy right here, pretty cool. Looks a bit dangerous with a knife, but you can click on the three little dots and this will give you some extra information about this specific element. In this case, it's a graphic. So you can see more like this one by clicking on this option of the menu right here. So if I click see more, Canva will search for more elements that are similar to this one. And you see, this is pretty accurate. I have a bunch of similar graphics. Now, if I come back and sometimes elements will be part of collections. You see, this one is not. Now, let me find another duck because I want to show you one last thing. You see this pixelated duck right here? If I click on it, sometimes elements are part of collections. So if you see an item like this that says view collection, it could be a very good way to find related consistent element that looks similar to the one you're searching for. So let's click on view collection. And now you see my pixelated duck right here. I have this entire collection from the same Canva contributor, which is part of a set of pixelated elements. So that is what Canva calls a collection. Now, this could be really useful to yeah, create consistency in one of your designs. And I'm going to leave it here for today, guys. Let me know in the comments if you search in a different way that I didn't explain in this video. I'm really curious to see different people search. So this is what I use the most often, but I'm sure there are other options. And I'm going to leave you guys with this other tutorial right here from our beginner series that I think you should watch next.